Hello Gemini, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your love reading. It'll be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And it will be a general message, so it won't resonate with everyone. I'm trying something new today. I've gotten some really cool decks in, and I wanted to use them in a new spread. So I really hope you enjoy this particular reading. We're going to be kind of looking more at your person, the person that you're thinking about. Um, I also created my own little handmade oracle deck here. So I'm going to be pulling some messages for um, your person, what they would tell you if they could, or anything about the relationship that you know, you need to know. I've really had a lot of fun with those and I'm getting really clear messages. So yes, let's get right into it. I'm going to start with some Oracle cards to get the current energies of your person. Spirit, what are the current energies for Gemini and the person that you're thinking about? What are the current energies for the person Gemini is thinking about? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, subscribed, commented recently. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments and just, I appreciate all the support, so thank you. All right. Current energies for Gemini's person, please. Breathe. Whew. This person, I just got this energy of this person has been through it. They just need to kind of like stop and breathe because they are... I just got overwhelmed like this person is just overwhelmed and they need to like center themselves interesting exchanging gifts okay so i don't know why i'm thinking communication why am i thinking communication when this is about gifts material things huh we're going to clarify these a little bit further so we'll see what that's all about one more for gemini please one more for gemini mending Another sign got this. I think it was Aquarius. Someone wants to fix something here. Hmm. Building blocks, bottom of the deck there. Hmm. Gemini. We'll see what that's all about. But let's start with this breathe card first. Gemini. This is the Osho Zen tarot deck. So it's kind of like traditional tarot, but totally different. <laughs> Tell me about breathe for Gemini. Let's see what this is all about, guys. Regarding the person Gemini is thinking about. Tell me about breathe. Now, time is fluid, so whatever situation I talk about today could have already, ooh, I got two, could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future, and roles can be reversed. So flip the roles if they resonate. Okay, guys, so I got two cards here. I got going with the flow, which is the Ace of Cups in traditional tarot. And I've got completion, which is kind of like the world card. So someone has completed something and now wants to offer new love. Huh. Going with the flow. Breathe. Very similar energies. This, there's water around this, this person here um, in the breathe card. She's like in a, on a lotus flower and there's water all around her. There's water all around this go with the flow. And completion, I think that's the equivalent of the world in the major arcana. So, interesting. Tell me about exchanging gifts. What's exchanging gifts about for Gemini? This person could be wanting to, when I think of exchanging gifts, like I'm thinking of like a an exchange of communication, an exchange of like going back and forth with something why am i thinking of text i'm thinking of like texting which is weird because the word is gifts but that's just what i'm feeling beyond illusion so this is another major arcana here number 20 i don't remember the numbers but let's look at what beyond illusion is oh, i grabbed the wrong book i want to read what this one's all about i'm still learning these these um decks Beyond Illusion, 42. Okay, let's see. Okay. <clears throat> this card reminds us not to look outside for what is real, but to look within. Mm, drop your opinionated mind and move inside. There you can relax into your own deepest truth. 
or the difference between dreams and reality is already known. I skipped a bunch of words there, but um, let me get one more for this. One more, please, for exchanging gifts. Okay, I don't want to fall out. Wow, past lives. Someone has realized something about a past life connection here. And they want to exchange something. Maybe they want to share that the, this realization. Patience under the deck. Okay, tell me about mending. Let's move on. Tell me about mending. I'm going to look into... As we move forward, we'll get more clarity on this situation. Because I have other spreads that I'll be doing. Oh. Mending. Okay, so we got schizophrenia and abundance. Schizophrenia is like the two of swords. In the traditional tarot, um, this person is between a rock and a hard place. They, they, but they need to make a choice. They've thought about mending something here, going back and forth, and then we have abundance, which I think this is. What well, has to do with pentacles? I don't remember. King of Pentacles. So we got a King of Pentacles here type energy, someone who is stable and grounded that wants to fix something here. And I feel like it has to do with this exchange. At the bottom of the deck I have aloneness, which I think this is the hermit. So this person has gone through a journey here. So let's see what this person thinks about you, Gemini. How they view you. How does this person view Gemini, Spirit? How does this person see Gemini in this connection? How does this person see Gemini? We got the horse. How does this person view Gemini? Oh, wow, we got the zebra. I love the, that energy of the zebra. Anything else? How does this person view Gemini? Starfish. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, my gosh, the message that I just got. Oh, my gosh. It just hit me. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, so let's first start with the horse. Um, I'm gonna look at the message here first with the horse. I'm not gonna read it. I'm just gonna verify that I'm thinking about that one correctly. Yeah, so with the horse, um, this person has been thinking here about, about getting to their destination about not giving up um freedom here with the horse i feel like they view you gemini as their almost i just got right off into the sunset like they just want to get on a horse with you and like ride off but they also think of you as moving forward Um, a horse personality is fully awakened, fully alive and cannot be defeated. So I do feel like that's how this person views you is you are their freedom. Now with zebra, zebra is all about someone who is creative, unique, um, eccentric. They have this, you see this little like rainbow thing. It's because whoever they're around, they open up their mind because they're so curious about life. They you know they love to travel kind of energy they they open people's minds up to different ideas and um they're very like infectious the, the zebra energy so i definitely feel like this person sees you as someone that has opened their mind and then with starfish this is the one that hit me the most so starfish energy is more like um seeing just the beauty on the outside not really thinking deeper into a person it's very shallow energy um, and sometimes people don't realize that there's more to the starfish and I don't think the starfish sometimes real, realizes it as well. 
Um, let me just look at the starfish here. It's usually could be like, um, you know, they, there's thrill. It's, someone loves to be around them, but the starfish has relied on their beauty that they may have forgotten that they have deeper calling or something like that. So I feel like with this person, what I got so strongly when I saw this card right under mending is this person did not recognize your worth. They saw you shallowly or they saw you like as it, they just focus on your, your outwardly appearance, but they never really got deep enough into you. And I think this person realized their mistake. Okay. And it just hit me very powerfully that, you know, that's the message there. Someone wants to fix the fact that they saw you in the wrong way. And I feel like they recognize that they've missed out because of that. So let's get into the tarot. What is going on with Gemini's regarding love? Spirit. <laughs> What's going on for Gemini's and love? Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini regarding love? Yep, the tower. What is going on with this situation? Any more messages regarding this situation? This person has had a tower moment. I got to tell you that right now, just because of the completion card up there, it's like something has happened that has shattered an illusion that they had. They're looking beyond an illusion here. Tell me more about the situation. So far we got, yep, page of cups. So far we have the tower. Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Page of Cups. I am seeing this so clearly. I love when messages happen like that. It doesn't happen often, but this one I feel like is going to be a very clear message. This person is thinking about new, completing something to go after something new. You can only do that with a tower. That's how I'm seeing it. Two of swords, we got two of swords again. One more please, regarding this situation. Whoa, three, uh, the world just came out. I'm not gonna take it. Six of cups also came out here. That makes sense, right on top of the seven of wands. I mean, seven of pentacles, sorry. I see seven of wheels and I immediately wanna think of seven of wands. Anything else for this situation? That one. The devil. So what I'm seeing here right away is the there's been a tower moment that has caused someone to look at the past with the tower and the seven of, of pentacles. This person has looked at the past and wondered if they invested in the wrong thing, if anything was going to come from what they worked so hard on. Um, they looked back and wondered if they made the right choices. I feel like this tower was the answer. They were almost like a, a brutal wake up call. I just got told to read this brief. Sorry. I'm going to listen to what they're saying. So Okay, so yeah. Okay, so basically what they want me to say is that this completion um, that they've gone through, this cycle that they've gone through, there needs to be patience. This person, I feel like they've been through something so difficult with the tower and the devil, because I feel like these are connected. Um, they've gone through something so difficult that there's there's patience that needs to also happen here um, with the seven of pentacles because things are not going to happen overnight. Okay, so they wanted me to say that. So I'm just going to say that. Okay, then over here we have the five of pentacles. So I feel like someone was shut out. There was probably no communication. Cold energy is what I'm getting here. No warmth, lack of warmth. Um, I'm also getting insecurity um, because this is usually financial insecurity or struggle. This person could be having financial struggles right now that are causing them to be insecure. 
um, that are keeping them from reaching out to you, possibly. I'm going to clarify all of these. I'm just going to explain what I'm seeing so far. Then I have the Page of Cups, so this could definitely be an apology because we have mending. And then the Two of Swords, going back and forth. This person is, has, is, is in a mental block. They're in a mental block here. They're going back and forth between their head and their heart. And the devil energy, I feel like, is contributing to this because it's like they're in a toxic environment or a negative head space. They have an unhealthy attachment to something or someone that's trapping them mentally. So let's clarify. Tell me about the tower. My deck right. Tell me about the tower. What's this tower about for Gemini? And their person. What's this tower about? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this tower is going to rebalance everything. That's why it had to happen because there was an imbalance. Tell me more. I feel like this person was also giving and giving and giving to something or someone, and they they didn't get anything in return and they're like looking back and thinking why did i try so hard why did i put so much effort page of swords this tower is going to open up the way for a, a message and remember with exchanging gifts i'm just thinking messages i'm thinking communication i have page of swords page of cups tell me about the seven of pentacles this person might also communicate what happened with them with this tower Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. What's this about? Seven of Wands. So this per another seven right here. So this person, I feel like they're I feel like this person is standing up for themselves. I feel like for the first time in a long time. They are protecting something that they value. I feel like it's tied to the past. Tell me more. Three of Wands. Waiting. Patience. This person's being patient. I feel like they have their eye on the prize. What are they waiting on? Tell me more about this Three of Wands. Tell me more about this Three of Wands. What's this Three of Wands about? Yeah. Ace of Swords. This person has had new clarity about what they need to fight for. They are going to communicate with the Three of Wands, Ace of Swords. There's a truth here that is beyond illusion. There was an illusion here with this person where they thought they knew something with the starfish here, but they were wrong. They let their own illusions about something get the best of them. And now they're stuck. They're stuck in this energy of, I need to make things right. I, I screwed up. Tell me about this five of pentacles. about this five of pentacles yeah king of swords more more air energy here you could be dealing with another air sign um a scorpio you could be dealing with a capricorn you could be dealing with a water sign scorpio pisces cancer there's also air, uh, fire here yeah ten of swords this this to me tells me this person's gonna cut out Whatever they need to cut out to get out of this cold energy, this lack energy. There's been an ending here with the Ten of Swords for this person. This person has ended something, completion. And notice how all these cards, they're very similar tone and color. I'm seeing blue, like an icy blue. Blue, I'm seeing blue everywhere, almost like cold and water is what I'm getting here. Even though these are, it's air. But you know what I mean? Um, I'm just getting a lot of like a chill, like like there's hasn't been a lot of communication or there's just stagnancy here. There's there's coldness here. Tell me about this page of cups. Maybe. Oh, my God. As I say that, there's the Knight of Swords. 
more communication. This person is rushing in with this apology or this communication here. King of Cups under the deck. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. This is going to be a long reading, Gemini. I apologize. <laughs> the Chariot. Yeah. This person wants victory. They want to move forward here. What did I say about the horse? There's two horses here. This person wants to get literally on a horse and move forward if they could. Could be a Cancer. Doesn't have to be. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Page of Wands. More messages. This person's going back and forth about sending a message. Tell me more about this Page of Wands. I guess because it's hard to say that you that you messed up, right? It's not easy. The Fool and Ten of Cups. This person wants to talk about a new beginning that leads to a happy family. They're thinking about happiness fulfillment here with the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment here. I feel like they haven't had that. Tell me about the devil. What's this devil about? Two of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this devil is kind of like what's making them butt heads here. Not move forward. It feels stuck. Tell me more about the devil. Tell me more about the devil. Eight of Wands. More communication. I'm going to title this video, Expect Communication. <laughs> Or put it somewhere in the title because it's going to happen. I mean, we've gotten communication cards for all of these. Well, actually not. Yeah, even this. Yeah, communication cards as clarifiers for all of these. So let's see. What other messages do we have for Gemini? This person, they could be stuck right now in a situation that's toxic or negative or whatever, but they're going to be breaking free of that. They're putting an end to that with a ton of swords and completion. What else does Gemini need to know? Okay. Adversity. I accept the challenges. That challenges are the best way to learn. I feel like this person has been through a lot. Sorry, Gemini. I had to pause the video real quick. Then I have here discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Yeah, this person is definitely going to accomplish... With the chariot here, they're not messing around. They are going after what they want. You know, they're, they need to, it's almost like they need to communicate what they, you know, forgiveness. Yeah, they need to communicate. They need to ask for forgiveness. Okay, so let's see what this person would say if they had the chance. Spirit, what would this person say to Gemini? If they have the chance. Any messages for this particular situation, please? This is resonating with you so far. Leave me a comment. Let me know what that situation is all about. Spirit. What would Gemini's person tell them if they had the chance? What would Gemini's person have? Tell them if they had the chance. Gemini's person, what would they tell them? I'm ready to commit. Okay, well, yeah, Ten of Cups is there. What else? I love you. I wonder if this person has actually told you that. Tell me more. I'm deeply attracted to you. Probably because it's a past life connection. I really am getting this is possibly a past life connection or some sort of soulmate type of connection here. Yeah, look at this. There is distance between us. I feel like that's why it feels so cold. There could be literally distance between you or they could just be like no communication. At the bottom of the deck, I regret everything that happened. Well, yeah, that's why you want to fix it. This person is going to communicate how they feel about you. They're going to communicate that they screwed up, that they want to fix things. Um, if it resonated with you, let me know down in the comments. Like or subscribe if you like my readings. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.
Take care.